So just on these F4s, that is a genuine international chassis. In fact, these guys bought the cars from the Red Bull team, so uh, it's the, the legit thing. And for 30,000 baht, you get an hour and a half in the seat. And they've got two. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. They've got 200 horsepower, um, but they can. They'll detune it if you're an absolute beginner like me. And uh, as you get more confident, they'll uh, increase the power during that hour and a half session. And the only thing you need is um, a racing suit and racing boots. So they'll supply the helmet. Um, you could probably hire a suit from somewhere. And uh, the young kid that's in there at the moment said they've, they've got a top speed of 260 kilometers an hour. So pretty impressive. 200 horsepower, 540 kilos. So, um, how good experience would that be? And on the other side of Bira Circuit, just over there, is a go-kart track, and you can hire go-karts there, but um, they're four-stroke, but I think they, they go pretty quick. But, um, Where else in the world would you get to, to drive an F4 with no training? They just throw you in it. Well, they probably give you a bit of a guide. And, um, and you get to drive the next Red Bull F4. the engine it's a 1.6 eco boost turbo uh, Ford definitely want to have a go. <laughs> One day I'll save up and um, see if we can st stick a GoPro on. Just wait for him to fire it up. And then I'll go to a section of the track uh, that should be fairly entertaining. I'll just go and stand, uh, Jesus, I'll just go and stand at a, um, where the chicane is, uh, I just saw that thing take off, that's why I said Jesus, uh, 200 horsepower doesn't sound a lot, but 540 kilos of, of weight, power to weight ratio, wowza, anyway, um, Something a bit different from condo tours, you know, I'm a petrol head. And, uh, I've always wanted to do a track date. Oh, here he comes. He's still warming up the tyres. Come on. Oh, oh. Something else is coming. I'm just going to get in the marshal on the marshal stand here so I can get some shade. It's Friday and it's hot.
I love this place. It's so close to um, so close to Patia, and unlike other places around the world, Australia especially, there's no way you could just turn up at an event and walk around the track. They'd just they'd, they'd be stopping you. So um, yeah, well it is Thailand, I suppose. So no rules. Come on. Here he comes, I think. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just walking down to another another section. Getting a bit loose. As you know, when you watch motorsport on TV, you don't really get a feel for the speed. Even F1 cars can, can look slow. But uh, when you're here next to the track, it's a completely different, different perspective. Um, there's all sorts of shit going on up there. All these Honda race cars going out. Noisy bastards. And just see if he's coming around again. Or has he gone into the pits? Not sure. No, he's coming. to go I need to ask the guy what the um, what his lap times are and compare them to the some of the other cars. He He's coming in into the pits. Wicked. Have a look at this RX7. FD. It's pretty wild. How much horsepower? How much horsepower? Horsepower. How much? How much horsepower this one? How much horsepower? Uh, <laughs> you don't know? <laughs> okay. Have a look at this claim. WRX. Oh, wow. Well. You speak English, Crub? Um, How much horsepower this one? Uh, Not sure. Horsepa horsepower. How much horsepower? Uh, horsepower. How much power? Bye bye. Bye bye. Alloy. Alloy, yes. How many? 500. 500. 500. Wow. There you go. What a beast. Bloody interesting. That says it all. Come here. 
says it all. Put on the main straight. Flying. Hey Dazza, check these out. F4. X red ball cars with a 1.6 Eco boost uh, Ford Mango. Only 200 horsepower, about 540 kilos. And you can drive one of these babies for 30,000 baht, which is about 1,200 bucks. And you get an hour and a half in the seat. All you need is a race suit. Just talking to the driver here, how was how was that little drive? That was fun, that was fun. Yeah, wow. So, I was just... Have you driven an F4 before? Or was... Yeah, a few times, not much. Okay. I started not too long ago, actually. I'm okay. preparing for my F4 season this year. Oh, wow. International? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> how cool is that? It's really cool. And we're, these cars are X, X Red Bull cars, right? Okay. And 200 horsepower, 540 kilos, and a lap beer up in one minute and four seconds yeah wow a little bit faster but because the old tires and all that oh yeah okay and also not to risk to like crash yes i get it that's very risky yeah yeah so you obviously done karting before yep okay and when, when was your first drive in a in an f4 oh i think last year summertime about. okay in thailand or uh, no in france in france wow but you guys are now based here in thailand yep. is that right Huh? Interesting. All right. Thank you. You're All the best for the future. Thank you. Interesting kid. He's only 14. Born here in Thailand. His father's his father's originally from uh, from France, and they're just setting up this Formula Four business in Thailand. They're going to give young up-and-coming drivers a, like an academy, and they're also going to do. Um, they're also going to do drive days, which I've just spoken to you about. And give, give hacks like me a chance. Don't know whether I'd fit in it, but anyway. Um, my mate Darren, Dazza in Australia. Darren Pate, how are you, mate? Um, this is you all over. So Darren Pate's an XV8 ex supercar driver, but started in... Formula Ford, I think, and then up to Formula Formula Holden, and then V8 supercars. So, Dazza, get your ass over here and drive an international F4. Oh, that's right. So that young kid that I was just talking to that, that's driving the F4, his dad owns that, and the whole team. He also races in the Isuzu. Um, D Max one make series, and he said the D Max is 15 seconds slower around Bira than uh, than the F4, but the F4 is not on on new, new rubber. It's on used rubber, very used. So. Um, Diesel Isuzu and she's up there. Things moving. Fantastic. How good is this? They're fast. Whatever they got in them, they got some grunt. Oh, I gotta get get down here under the shade. And be a marshal. Having fun, yeah.
the D-Max is going so slow, you should see those things under full noise around here. <laughs> Man, that thing's quick. Oh. It looks up. It's quick. It's damn quick. And so are these bastards. Whistling their heads off. So just to wrap up, out here at Bira, if you want to drive one of these wicked wicked F4s, I'll put a uh, sorry, I'll put a link in the description below, and you can organise a drive day. And I'm going to save up for it and try and do it myself. Anyway, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, thanks for your support. My last video that I put up yesterday um, had an age restriction ban put on it. The one where I showed two condos, one at Pratamac and one at uh, in Patia. And I'm not sure why. I don't think it was the ride down Soy 6. Um, it may have been to do with the cannabis oil. Anyway, that is what it is. I live and learn. Have a great weekend, everyone. If I don't speak to you beforehand and there's no other videos, over and out.